New tonight, we're learning more about the man accused of threatening to kill Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. He's now indicted by a federal grand jury. And you'll remember, police arrested the suspect near Kavanaugh's home in Montgomery County last week. Casey Nolan got his hands on that indictment. And Casey, there are some new details about this alleged murder plot. That's right, Leslie. Police and prosecutors say the 26-year-old showed up at the justice's home with the tools and a plan to break into Kavanaugh's home and assassinate him. We have also learned that text messages with his sister may have kept him from going through with it. Police say when Nicholas John Roski stepped out of a cab in front of Justice Brett Kavanaugh's Montgomery County home, the California man was carrying a pistol, ammo, aiming laser, lockpick, and a face mask, along with more tactical gear and burglary tools. He had a suitcase uh, full of uh, equipment um, um, and literally no clothes uh, that he actually flew from California to uh, the Washington, D.C. area um, in order to actually to carry out this plot. But police say when the 26-year-old spotted U.S. Marshals posted outside the justice's home, he kept walking and from around the corner started texting his sister. To tell her what his intentions were, um, at which point in time she she convinced him to actually to pick up the phone and call 911 um, to basically turn himself in and, and not to do uh, what he had planned to do. I need, I need psychiatric help. When Roski called 911, he told the operator his gun was unloaded and locked in his suitcase and he was ready to comply with officers. Because I didn't think I could get away with it and also I'd been for a long time, I've been hospitalized multiple times. I think he had significant plans to actually break into the residence. Um, I think he had actual plans to actually do what he said he was going to do. Roski is now facing a federal charge for attempting to murder a justice of the United States, which has a maximum penalty of life in prison. Although the feds pointed out today, Leslie, actual sentences are typically less than the maximum. Yeah, those details give us a lot more uh, detail about what could have happened, and we are grateful that it did not. Casey, thank you.